You know Demon Slayer is great when it comes to its pacing, so this episode's called Infiltrating the Entertainment District, and I think we're already getting in there. I'm ready. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaiba Season 2, Episode 2, or Episode 9, depending on which stance you take on Season 2. I am very excited for this arc, to see Tengen Uzui in action, to learn about his shinobi background and why he wants to be so flashy and flamboyant now. You know, it's his inner self, it's inner true self. Super curious about the demons we're gonna see. Super curious about this area, the entertainment, the red light district. You know, a lot of, I heard a lot of fun things go on in this area, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm just super pumped. I know a lot of people have been hyping this up and I am ready to get on into it. Don't forget if you guys wanna watch the full length version of this episode or watch the early access or full length of any of the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this Demon Slayer season two, Episode 2 or 9, um, Infiltrating the Entertainment District. Let's do this. <laughs> the place where... I don't know, Zenitsu. Why don't you tell me a little bit about more about it, huh? Follow me. Oh, he's probably going to go so fast. Yep. All right, boys. We got to keep up. This is our first test. Let's go. <laughs> Start running. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate you. They always have some of the most amazing set pieces in Demon Slayer. Just in terms of the setting, the aesthetic, everything. Always top tier. Oh, they're going to get out of the carriage. Yep. Okay. The Yoshiwara Entertainment. A wash in vanity and desire of men and women, a town of the night swirling with love and hate. Flashy, huh? It is. I feel bad for Tengen right now. He's like a babysitter dealing with these kids. Yeah, 100%. I never even thought about it like that. Really? I didn't know there were ranks amongst prostitutes? A woman of distinction. Interesting. She's the Hashira of the hookers. No matter what situation you end up on, even if it's prostitutes, even if it's in this area, there's going to be class differences and some sort of class system, you know? He said his bride? <laughs> Zenitsu is taking all of this personally. <laughs> That's so funny. But three undercover wives who are infiltrating and looking for the demons and stuff like that, I think I've seen them all three in the opening, and I'm very hyped for them. One of them looks just like Inosuke. That's, that's why uh, Zenitsu's go Ooh! Kunoichi, the female ninja! Damn! Tengen? Suma. Makio. And Hinatsura. I'm sure I'm gonna learn their names. Zeniko Imuko. <laughs> I couldn't even get. <laughs> oh my god, I know. Wow, without the headband and his hair and like those braids, he looks. No, I guess those are diamond like things. I wonder. I need to take a closer look at him. Not in disguise, no. Oh my god, without the like the red tattoo, he looks. Well, one, I could see how a lot of women would find him attractive. Pause. Hey, yo. But. He looks brolic and he looks dope. He looks like a demon, honestly. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Sumiko employed. Zenitsu is not having it. 
Now, who is this fair maiden? Very accessorized in the hair. Procession of courtesans. The highest, so she's the Hashira of that house. And so they have this sort of arrangement to go meet her client? That's crazy. They think Inosuke is so naturally beautiful that they had to get off this bizarre makeup that tainted the, the beauty of the face, you know. But Inosuke is just a very f feminine, we'll say, looking person. So that's so funny. I mean, w especially with one of, uh, I assume, Tengen's wives looking exactly like Inosuke, I, I could see it, you know. Is this Zenitsu going ham right now? Ooh. The Shamisen, I've never heard of that. <laughs> Zenitsu was hidden. <laughs> but she sure is fucking ugly. That's a fire picture right there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm going to be the best prostitute this house has ever seen. <laughs> if it comes to physical labor and or working, Tanjiro is more than happy to do anything. <laughs> Carrying like 47 things at one time. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, I bet you get murdered, which sucks, but. Mm, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? Lover, wife, sister, mother, sister. That's so funny. He can't even have a normal face. That means there's a demon. Not necessarily. I mean, there's a good chance a demon has involved in this, you know? I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay, Suma. It's our first of the Tengen wives we know anything about. We're getting leads. This was straight from the trailer, though. Don't tell me that's the girl we just talked to, right? Or is that a different way around? Yeah, I think it's a different one. Inosuke is doing some investigation. Now then, answer me. This looks crazy. Oh, that's one of the wives. Oh my god, she looks bomb. Which one is this? Suma? Makio? And Inosuke might be the first one to find something. He's right next to her. Ooh, bro, I'm telling you, the setup. Oh, is it? I was about to say that is over. Okay, this shit is gonna get good, I can tell. So, this episode, very good setup. Very good getting us in there, getting us settled so we know exactly what we're needed to do, what we can't do, and what we should be looking out for in these next couple episodes. Very funny how we were able to infiltrate and how we already had the wives undercover from Tengen. I thoroughly enjoy that plan. He's been working on this for a good minute. Um, the fact that he had to <laughs> dress up Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke and sell them off into separate houses is very fun and unique. But I love the ranking system and the class system of this area. Like I said, if any place has been around for a good amount of time and has developed in, you know, beyond where it started, it's obviously going to have some sort of class system. That's just like a, a natural when, a natural given when it comes to locations and political diverseness. But this one the women who have climbed up the ranks and become the oiran of each house each house has its own set of girls set its own workers all that but if you become the oiran you're the most distinguished you know the the number one attainable the number one bachelorette of any house which is insane i love the ranking systems i love how much prestige that actually brings and it's it's ironic but it's also very realistic in terms of when you're a lowly girl in these situations i don't want to say you'll be seen as trash 
but you are technically bought and sold. You'll, you you are technically a product, you know, versus as when you're an Oiran, which is the same exact as these lower girls. They've just been established and had their name, you know, be renowned in, in the area. But they're sought after. They're given gifts. It's like it's like it's an amazing thing to be with one of these versus, you know, it's like it's just crazy to think. It's very ironic, but it's very realistic in terms of how this is set up, you know, in terms of real life entertainment districts because these are real you know i've heard if you go over to a uh, amsterdam i have a i don't have a few personal friends but i know some people who know some people who have been to amsterdam and have had uh some legal uh instances where they went to a couple brothels and stuff like that and they said it was quite the quite the exciting time you know quite the fun activity i'll leave it at that i'll let you guys imaginations go wild but like i said thoroughly enjoying the setup tangan is a very attractive man was winning over the hearts of everyone no wonder his wives are so amazing especially with seeing the ending for the first time in this episode i desperately need to see his backstory i know we're gonna see that hopefully and it looked like the leader of the demon slayer core with like that scar covering up his entire forehead and eyes making him blind only had that scar on like a, a single part of his head so I'm very curious about that as well. Mmm. And then, mmm. I'm curious. I'm curious. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys want to watch the full length of this one again, check out that Patreon. Otherwise, don't forget to follow all the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. All the Nefrodarius. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Click that bell. All the jazz. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week for another episode. Don't forget to drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.